Welcome back. In today's Staying Healthy segment, we have two drug updates, one regarding what uh, drugs are safe during pregnancy. Also, we're talking about a warning about a danger of the antibiotic Zithromax that was issued late yesterday. You may know it better as a Z pack. You may have heard of that. Dr. Diane McAllister is looking to both of these controversial issues for us. Now, Dr. Diane, it's always nice to have you here. And Thanks. we want to talk about a new study that finds that it's difficult for pregnant women to get consistent information. They're talking to different doctors doctors, of course. Different doctors say different things, and they say things that are different than the information you can find on the internet. So what is a pregnant woman to do? So it's it's a matter of pregnant women really need to be in contact with their physician, get a good OB. But the information on drugs is variable because a lot of drugs have not been studied in pregnant women because it's felt to be unethical to do drug studies when you're not sure if it's going to harm the baby or not. So you gather evidence because there are women who have medical conditions where not treating the medical condition would be more dangerous for the baby than treating it. And so those women have to be on some sort of medication. So you gather information over time and it changes over time. So a lot of people turn immediately to the internet when they want to learn more, and they may find some information about drugs, about ailments, about you know uh, remedies. Which one should people trust? Well, you know, I kind of go to that popular ad right now of it, just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's fact. Mm -hmm. So there there are websites um, by toxicology specialists for pregnant women that are good, but the problem for most of us as consumers is that some drugs are safe in the first trimester but not safe in the last tri trimester. Wow. Other drugs you cannot take in the first trimester but it's okay to take them later on and so you really need to talk to a medical expert who can weigh out the risks of the drugs, the benefits to you and help you make decisions about whether or not to take them. And I would like to remind people that supplements are medications so keep supplements in mind when you're thinking about what you're going to take when you're pregnant. Yeah, because they can thin the blood, all kinds of things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the general rule for pregnant women is don't take anything if possible and take things only if the risk-benefit ratio works out. Okay. How helpful are labels? Prescription medicines now come with not just a label, but there's a handout for reading later in your leisure time. Is that information useful? Um, the information is accurate, but again, it may not be translatable if you don't have the right background knowledge. The d government is talking about changing the labels so they're a little more obvious about what you should not take in pregnancy in particular. Okay. Let's switch gears for you on the, the second medical issue we were talking about today. has got a lot of people uh, talking, and that's the Zithromax, the Z-Pack. We heard from ABC News yesterday. A lot of people come in. They request that of their doctor. Um, now there's some concerns for certain uh, people in the population. Right. Um, we all love the Z-Pack because it only takes five days to take it. But um, for people who have heart rhythm problems okay. and for people who have disorders of potassium and magnesium in their blood the FDA just announced yesterday that the, this drug can increase what's called the QT interval making them vulnerable for potentially fatal heart rhythms and so people who have those problems if they're taking Z packs now should stop and go talk to their physician or at least call to make sure that they they are safe yeah Okay. All right, it's always wonderful to get your perspective. Thank oh, you, Dr. Diane McAllister. My pleasure. And we have information on both of these stories on the DenverChannel.com. Just go to the Lifestyle tab and click on Staying Healthy.